Hey guys, it's Jordan. So today I'm going to be showing you a really cool Halloween costume that I found on Pinterest. And this is a picture that I found on Pinterest, yet I couldn't really find any instructions. So I just decided to go for it and make it the best way that I could. Mine turned out a little different, but I think it came out really awesome. So if you guys want to find out how to make this and how I made it, then keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you've seen my face, then welcome. I post lots of DIY videos, so don't forget to subscribe to not miss another video from me. Okay, let's just get started with this Halloween tutorial. So the first thing we're going to be making is the rain so that we can set it to dry. So I'm just taking some clear stretchy string and a piece of plastic, it doesn't really matter, just something that glue won't really stick to. And I'm cutting the string kind of different lengths but all around 2 feet. And I'm cutting about 24 or so of these, as many rain strands as you want you can cut. Then I'm taking a bowl and a plate and in the bowl I'm putting in some Elmer's glue and in the plate I'm putting these kind of snowflake decorations that I found at Michael's. Then the next step is kind of a messy and tedious process but once you get the hang of it I promise it goes by a lot quicker. So you're going to start by taking each string and dipping it into the glue and make sure that it's all saturated with the glue and then dip it into the snowflakes and get it all saturated and covered with all the snowflakes and then just lay it out on your piece of plastic. And that's literally what you're going to repeat 24 times or as many strings as you have and um, it can get a little messy so be careful. But yeah, you're just going to continue doing this until all of your strings are laid out. So while we let that dry, I'm just going to be moving on to the umbrella part. So I got this umbrella from the thrift store and just make sure you get a light colored one that can be seen through so that the light shines through it. And then I got some fake snow from Michaels. You could also use stuffing if you have that instead of fake snow. And then just some Christmas lights or bulbs or whatever you have. These ones actually ended up not working for me and I ended up using a different light set. Just make sure that whatever light set you use the lights are cool toned so that the color will come out bluer rather than yellow because there aren't really yellow rain clouds. And also make sure if you're planning on going out with this Halloween costume that your lights switch on with a battery and not by being plugged in because obviously you're not going to have a plug when you go out trick or treating. Okay, step one is open the umbrella inside, oh god. Hopefully you're not superstitious. <laughs> Next, you're gonna wanna take some more of that Elmer's glue and literally just put it all over the umbrella because you're gonna need to have your stuffing or snow stick on top of this somehow. You could also use hot glue, but I was afraid that was going to warp the umbrella a little bit, but you could definitely do that too or any other type of glue that you have. I just had Elmer's glue out and ready. <laughs> But the tricky thing about Elmer's glue or any other wet kind of glue is you're going to want to wait a little bit for it to get kind of tacky before you stick the snow on it or else the snow is not going to stick. And as you can see, you can be very, very generous with the amount of glue that you're putting on because it's, nothing's going to stick if you don't put enough glue. And I just kind of gave up at being neat at this point and just kind of started putting glue all over it and just rubbing it all in with my hands. But trust me, it works a lot better than th this way. So once it's tacky enough, then go ahead and put your snow on top of your umbrella and kind of spread it around so that you don't really see much of your umbrella and just the snow on top. And it's totally okay if it's uneven. You just want to get the snow or stuffing covered on your entire umbrella. Then once it's mostly covered, you're going to want to let that dry. Moving on, flip your umbrella upside down once it's dry and you can add in the lights. So there are a few different methods of how you can stick your lights to your umbrella. You could hot glue it or E6000 glue or some other kind of glue if you want to, but I wanted to be able to get the lights off of the umbrella once it's over, so I decided to tape it, and I figured out that the best kind of tape that works for this is scotch duct tape because it just kind of sticks to the umbrella fabric, which is kind of hard to find a material that sticks to that. So I'm basically going around and taping down all of the lights, and this is also a very tedious process, and trust me, you're going to use a lot of tape with this. Um, I first kind of went around and taped the corners down, and then I went back around and taped down each individual light because if you tape down like the top part of the light, it will push the color towards the other side and make your costume a lot brighter and glow more, I guess. And I actually didn't add lights to the middle of the umbrella, but you could do that as well. I just didn't think it was very necessary because a lot of people wouldn't really be seeing the top of the umbrella, but by all means, go ahead and do that if you want to. So yeah, like I said, this takes up a lot of duct tape, but just keep going around and once everything is all stuck down and you don't think it's going to come off, then you can finally move on to taping down the rain 
drop parts and so all you're gonna do for this is you can take some tape or glue if you want to but I just thought tape was easier and just tape down each of the raindrop strings and once you tape those all the way around then your umbrella rain cloud is completed and you can top it off with a rain jacket and rain boots if you want to or whatever costume you feel fits with this and then you can go out and have fun trick-or-treating or whatever you're doing this Halloween. So that was how I recreated this Pinterest costume and I think it's really awesome because you don't really have to dress up and it's totally DIY. So if you guys like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already by clicking this button right here. So I'll just give you a minute to do that. Um, and while you're waiting, you can also decide if you want to check out one of my other videos over here or follow me on my social media on the side. And if you recreate this costume or any of my other DIYs, don't forget to show me a picture on any of my social media and I'll be sure to look at it and comment on it and like it and all that good stuff because I love seeing what you guys recreate. So that being said, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a wonderful Halloween and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye!